All right, Schlock Monster fans, it's time for Laura Antonelli's Venus in Furs. Check it out. This guy's name is Severin. He's staying at some resort somewhere. I think this is the lady who runs the resort. I find taking these therapeutic walks along the lakeside much more tiring. And this is the new guest, Wanda, who Severin takes an immediate fascination to. That's the actress Laura Antonelli. Well, he has a peephole and he immediately spies on her in the shower. After shower, she likes to roll around naked in furs. A Venus in furs, if you will. Then we get a flashback to when he was a kid and he was spying on his maid. And that uh, he got in trouble. I was fascinated at seeing her. He got slapped for spying, but the maid took comfort on him. He then takes it upon himself to go and meet Wanda. But you're much more beautiful. Have you ever seen me like that? I guess she has no problem with him being as blunt as he was because next thing you know, they're in bed together. And then he wants to be whipped. My flesh burns, but the pain gives me such infinite pleasure. You know I was watching you. They're a couple, and... Yes, I knew it. And I put everything I had into the part I was playing. He likes to watch her with other men. I went through hell. I'm very happy when others desire you. You really aren't jealous? No, not as long as I'm part of the game. Then there's only pleasure for you. So this is a 20 year old guy fishing in the water. Do you really want me to do this? So she grabs him and takes him off into the woods. Or deeper into the woods, I guess. And our cuckold follows. And he watches them together. And then when it's done, he comes in. After watching his one with another man, he knows it's time to pop the question. I feel I'm yours all the more. I know it. Wanda, will you marry me? Yes. That's a wonderful idea. I'd like to be treated just like an oriental slave. Of course. It's part of your game. And what are you going to do with Cutagas? Whatever I please. I'm not required to answer you. As part of the games, he's now playing the part of a chauffeur for her. She had taken him to some dude's house. Who's that man? Why did you stay so long in his house? So, I found a way to make you jealous. What happened to all your precious theories? Your objective theories. What's that got to do with it? What she was doing was getting a nude painting of herself done. So, Severin said, invite him over. And things get pushed further. The man with her makes me suffer. I feel a terrible pain pounding at my temple. And yet, she is so beautiful. Her skin is so translucent that you can see the delicate blue veins just under the surface. I suffer. I suffer? Yet I'm happy. I like it. No man could go through what you do. No one could admit you're too beautiful to belong to just one man. She said she's tired of the insanity and starts to whip him. But is this part of the game, too? They pass a motorcyclist on the road, and she wants him. They go to the beach. You have annoyed me. Go away. Disappear. So this guy hangs around for a few days, and he's really kind of an asshole. But again, that's kind of the game they're playing. Do you think you can move me to change my mind? But I guess Severn has had enough, and he decides he's done. 
It's obvious. I'm packing. Are you leaving? Alone? Yes. So he goes right to a brothel and picks out a hooker. What's your name? He gets rough with her. <laughs> and a few seconds later, some of the guys from the place come and stop him. But she defended him and shooed them away. He's all for that, but if you're gonna be his woman, you gotta beat him. And that's our film. Alright, let's talk about Venus in Furs. This is a movie that I had, a, I still have, a PAL VHS tape of. I acquired it maybe 20 years ago. Watched it once, didn't remember anything about it. Watched it again today, and um, uh, it's the only film in my collection that I'm aware of anyway that is uh, totally devoted to cuckolding. Uh, some guys like to have watch their women uh, sleep with other men. This guy certainly liked that. He also liked to be humiliated while it was happening. He also liked to be abused, um, ordered around. So he, he meets this woman, Wanda, played by Laura Antonelli, the lovely Laura Antonelli. And um, uh, he, they immediately kind of like start dating, I guess. And he also likes to be whipped by her, by the way. Um, and uh, he kind of tells her about this thing, this little kink he has about you know, uh, he wants to see her with other men, and she's a little hesitant at first, but she's like, okay. <laughs> and then uh, they find some 20-year-old uh, kid fishing down by the stream, although he looked like he was 35. Um, she says, are you really sure you want me to do this? And he's like, yep, go get him. So gets him, they do it in the woods, he watches, and then when he's done, uh, the guy goes over by, or Severn is his name, goes over by her and says, that was awesome, let's get married. And she says, okay. So, um, throughout their marriage, um, basically, he she orders him around, tells him what to do. Again, uh, that's just the game they're playing. Um, anything she wants, she gets. Um, he says, you know, I suffer every time I see you do things like this, but I also uh, am excited by it. I enjoy it. So, at one point, he dons a chauffeur's uniform and says, I'm going to show for you. And they drive around, and they just pick up a stranger who was on a motorcycle. They bring him back, and... Uh, she does it in front of him again, and this guy, though, he's like a real jerk. He, like, hits um, Severin, and uh, he just mistreats everybody. He's just kind of an asshole. And eventually, Severin gets sick of it, so he decides to leave. Um, and, of course, he goes right down to this German brothel and uh, uh, picks up a new woman, a redhead, and smacks her. And then uh, uh, some of the thugs come in and say, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? But the woman's like, no, 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 no. Uh, he's my friend. This is okay. I think they had just met, but apparently he has a knack for finding women like this. And she immediately submits to him and says, I want to be your woman. And he's like, okay. Next thing you know, she's whipping him. And that's how our film ends. So that is Venus and Furs. Again, um, honestly, though, uh, for what this movie is, it's a tawdry little film, but it was actually very well done, I thought. Um, Laura Antonelli is beautiful, and she gets naked several times, which is also good. Uh, pretty risque for 1969 when this movie came out. It also was under the title uh, Devil in the Flesh. Um, but yeah, for what this was, I think it was actually, I don't want to say it was tastefully done because the whole thing is <laughs> distasteful, but um, they made it very realistic, I guess you could say. So there you go. I, I enjoyed this film. You know, again, it was rough, but uh, yeah, I think it gave us exactly what it was meant to do. So there you go. It's called Venus and Furs. Now, this is a PAL DVD. Uh, I, it was hard to determine whether or not this had, had a, a, a an NTSC American release as well. Maybe it has. Uh, I'm not sure. But whatever, it's, it's out there. You can find it. Again, it's also called Devil in the Flesh from 1969. So that's it. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Venus and Furs. Watch it. Bye.